will solve some uh, questions based on the binding energy of the nucleus. We know 1 amu is equal to 1 u, 1 u value is uh, in terms of kilogram 1.66 into uh, 10 to the power minus 27 or in terms of energy 931 mega electron volt or if you want to convert it to joule it is 1.49 into 10 to the power minus 10 the mega is 10 to the power 6 and 1 electron volt is 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9 and if you solve it you will get this answer this question uh, calculate the binding energy in mega electron volt of an alpha particle mass given neutron given mass of the proton given neutron given and this is the actual mass of the helium atom so we'll start uh, at mass defect. So mass defect, actual mass is given, and mass of theoretical mass of this alpha particle is nothing but the mass of the uh, helium nuclei. This is two four. This mass of the helium nuclei uh, subtraction actual mass of the helium atom. This is the actual mass of the helium atom. So mass of the uh, proton into mass of the proton plus uh, neutron into mass of the neutron. And this is the actual mass. So if you calculate it, it become 2 into 1.0076 and plus 2 multiplied by 1.009. It is given in terms of u and the mass of the actual mass is 4.0028. So if you solve it, you will get answer 0 0.304 and u. So what is the banding energy? The banding energy will be your 0 0.0304 and multiplied by 4u. It is 931.5 electron volt. So 931 on solving you will get 28.3 mega electron volt. So this is the answer. Calculate the total energy released in mega electron volt when uranium 2 U38 decays by alpha emission to thorium 234. And their uh, uh, mass of the nuclei is given. So first let us let us write the equation. Equation is uranium. Uh, 238 and uh, atomic number and this is decaying into thorium thorium with mass number is mass is 90 atomic ma uh, number is 90 and mass number is 234 and helium nuclei is released so what is the mass defect mass defect will be nothing but the summation of mass of the reactant minus summation of mass of the product so what is the mass of the reactant that is so mass of the reactant is uh, 238 0 0.0508 it is given uh, minus this is the and the product will be have thorium plus helium so it is 234.436 plus 4.002 and 6 this is the whole so on solving you get 0 0.0046 u so what is the binding energy that is the energy released so energy released in elect mega electron volt will be now 0 0.00 uh, 46 46 multiplied by 931 so on solving you will get 4.3 mega electron volt so this much energy uh, uranium u38 will decay and it will give you this much amount of energy oxygen 16 atom having 8 proton neutron and 8 electrons mass is 15.994 u and find the mass defect in plus binding energy nuclear value is given then uh, mass of the again you can write mass defect is equal to a proton into mass of the proton and plus neutron into mass of the neutron and subtraction actual mass of the oxygen nucleus is oxygen nuclear so we have to take the mass of oxygen nuclear now substitute the value 8 into 1.0078 uh, for proton and for neutron is 8.1.0086 you can see 866 this is the whole will be u and uh, for uh, this one uh, is uh, actually 15.99 u so on solving you will get 0 0.137 u so what is the binding energy so binding energy will be uh, same as 0 0.137 and u is nothing but the 931.5 on solving you will get 127.619 mega electron so this is the total value now what is the average binding energy average binding energy per nucleon so this is nothing but the binding energy uh, uh, binding energy divided by a so what is the binding energy 127.619 and divided by a is 6 and this is the mass of the oxygen atom on solving you will get 7.976 mega electron volt per nucleon 
mass of the proton neutron uh, it is the uh, already we know that what is the binding energy nucleon for the beryllium atom whose atom number is 4 and mass of the actual mass of the beryllium atom is 9.012 again we will do the same process mass defect is equal to proton into mass of the proton a plus neutron into number of neutron into mass of the neutron and actual mass of the beryllium actual uh, mass uh, nuclei of nuclear of beryllium atom so we have to take the mass of the nuclear beryllium atom solve it 4 into 1.008 plus the neutron so for neutron again we have 5 neutron because it is uh, 9 uh, mass number is 9 so it is a uh, beryllium is nothing but the 9 4 so 9 is there so 5 into 1.009 so hold it to u and subtracting 9.012 so on solving so you will get 9.077 multiplied by 9.012 and you will get answer 0 0.065 u what is the binding energy uh, per nucleon so binding energy will be a 0 0.065 uh, this will be your total binding energy is 65 and uh, multiplied by 935 and a is nothing but the 9 so on solving you will get 6.72 mega electron volt so this is the answer binding energy per nuclear for beryllium atom calculate the average uh, binding energy per mole of a uranium u35 uh, so your answer in kilojoule per mole mass of the proton given neutron given and mass of the uranium actual mass of the uranium u35 is given this is amu so again uh, mass defects so delta m so mass defect will be a proton into mass of the proton and plus neutron into mass of the neutron minus actual mass of the uranium atom equal mass of uranium u35 nuclei now substitute the value of substituting 92 into 1.007 plus 143 is the neutron that is the 235 minus 92 it will be 143 multiplied by 1.0867 and subtracting 235.0 0.4393 so if you solve it you will get answer 1.86564 u so this is the your you are getting the delta m now what is the energy so energy will be again you write that 1.865 into 931.5 mega electron volt and if you want to convert into joule this is the mega electron volt you want to convert it you have to multiply by the 10 power minus 90 into 10 power 6 so this will convert into joule per atom so on solving you will get 2779596 into 10 power minus 13 or you can say 2.78 into 10 power minus 10 a joule per atom now we have to convert into kilojoule per mole so this is the again uh, joule per atom so for kilojoule per mole so you have to write convert into kilojoule per mole so to convert kilojoule per mole again we can have to write 2.78 into 10 to power minus 10 multiplied by 6.022 into 10 power 23 and divide by 1000 so this is your uh, joule per mole so again uh, if you multiply so you will get answers how much 1.6762 into 10 to the power 11 and this will be your kilo joule per mode so this is our answer this question you can practice by yourself calculate the nuclear uh, binding energy of the copper 63 which has a mass defect at 0 0.59 for you express your answer in terms of joule per it is same as the previous question Similarly, cl35 has an exact mass of the 34.9689 u and given um, mass of the proton is 1.073 u mass of neutron is this much and calculate the mass defect of cl35 similarly what is the binding energy in kilojoule per mole lanthanum 139 for its formation formation means so this is the reaction it is the lanthanide is formed from the hydrogen when nuclear uh, two neutrons is bombarding on the proton mass of proton mass of the neutron is given and the lanthanide is 139 is given so this is the mass so we can calculate uh, by the previous methods Again, uh, we have one more question you can practice by yourself. Calculate the mass defect as the binding energy of the nucleide B boron, where the mass of the boron, actual mass is given. Again, mass uh, delta mass defect is given. Uh, this is our answer. And binding energy of this boron is again given over 
Yes, this you can practice by yourself. Suppose that the sun consists of entirely of hydrogen and the dominant energy releasing reaction is this releasing so hydrogen four atoms of hydrogen converting to helium and on releasing we are getting a two beta particles and this is the two is the anti neutrino and the gamma radiation are there mass of the helium is the given mass of the proton is given mass of the electron is also given over here now question is if the total power output means when hydrogen is converted to helium then power is uh, uh, is coming and that power output of the sun is assumed to be remain constant at this is, so this is the power is uh, which is uh, coming on the earth per second is this much joule now they are asking so how long will it take for the all the hydrogen uh, to be burned up means if all the hydrogen is burned up into the helium and the power is same then it will take how much long time to uh, for the sun to uh, give on the earth that is the uh, power so mass of the sun is given over here so how to solve this question we have to find out what is the total number of neutrons present and atoms present in the sun because sun uh, we know the mass so by using the mass we can calculate the total number of atoms and the per atom uh, for four atoms we require uh, one helium so we in this way we can calculate the total number of atoms how much energy is released let us calculate for first uh, four atoms so first is the, what is the total number of uh, atoms in the sun is total atoms we can write total atoms in sun will be how much so we can write mass of the sun and sun and divide by the uh, molar mass of hydrogen in kilogram so kilograms so it will be how much 1.99 into 10 to power 30 and molar mass of the hydrogen 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 so this is also kilogram this is also kilogram so on solving you will get 1.192 into 10 to power 57 so this is the total number of hydrogen atoms present in the sum now what is the mass defect for the per atom so mass defect will be how much so we can write total defect will be a uh, reactant minus uh, product so reactive this is product this one so this will give you the total energy so 4 into 1.008.25 and uh, again subtracting uh, 4.002603 and plus uh, mass of the electron is also given so this is uh, 2 into point, uh, 0.005490u so on solving you will get 0.02759u uh, so this is the total uh, mass uh, delta m now uh, what is the total energy uh, from this atom so total energy will be uh, that is the binding energy will be how much so it will be your so it will be your uh, point zero two seven five and nine nine and multiplied by nine thirty one point five so this is the mega electron volt on solving you will get twenty five point seven one mega electron volt per atom now it is very clear uh, so what is clear that uh, one helium is formed by the it is a uh, it is formed uh, it is formed by how many uh, atoms by consuming by consuming four hydrogen atoms so this is the per atom hydrogen give me this much so total we can find the total energy available in sun is how much so total energy available in sun will be how much so it will be uh, one point we can see is the total number of atom is 1.1 and this is the total number of hydrogen atoms 1.192 into 10 to the power 57 this is the atoms and uh, uh, this is the energy so energy is 25.71 so we can use 25.71 it's a mega electron volt so the mega electron volt and uh, for uh, one atom this is for one atom so we require four atoms because four atoms is consumed four atoms converted into helium so we require four atoms right here four atoms of hydrogen and then again multiplied by convert mega electron volt into uh, uh, this one uh, joule so right here 10 plus 6 electron volt divided by mega electron volt and multiplied by 1.6 into 10 per minus 19 this is the joule and this is the electron volt now whole will be comes into the energy so you will get total energy how much 1.225 into 10 to the power 45 joules so this is the i have calculated value this is the total energy which is given by the sun now 
कॉन्स्टेंट पावर ऑफ द सन इज हाउ मच कॉन्स्टेंट पावर ऑफ सन दैट इज वी नो वेरी वेल दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन इंटू टेन टू द पावर ट्वेंटी सिक्स जूल पर सेकेंड सो हाउ मच लाइफ टाइम ऑफ द सन विल बी लाइफ टाइम मीन्स फॉर सन मीन्स दिस मच एनर्जी इज गिविंग टू अर्थ द टोटल एनर्जी इज ऑलरेडी वी नो दैट दैट इज द वन पॉइंट टू टू फाइव इंटू टेन टू द पावर फोर्टी फाइव एंड कॉन्स्टेंट पावर इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन इंटू टेन टू द पावर ट्वेंटी सिक्स जूल सेकेंड सो अगेन यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट बाई ईयर सो राइटर वन आवर बाई थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड सेकेंड्स नाउ कन्वर्ट इन टू वन डे सो वन डे डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड कन्वर्ट इन टू वन ईयर डिवाइड बाई थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज सो इफ यू कैलकुलेटेड इट विल कम अबाउट नाइन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर टेन ईयर मीन्स ऑलमोस्ट इट इज इफ यू सॉल्व इट इट विल बी नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स बिलियन ईयर्स मीन्स सन विल गिव कंटिन्यूसली ऑन द अर्थ विथ दिस पावर फॉर दिस मच लॉन्ग टाइम मीन्स ऑल हाइड्रोजन इज बर्निंग इन टू दिलियम ऑल हाइड्रोजन बर्निंग टू हिलियम इट विल गिव दिस मच ईयर्स ऑफ टाइम विद द कॉन्स्टेंट पावर ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ